Moscow is one of Europe's most fascinating cities, with a rich history and vibrant, awe-inspiring architecture that can't be found anywhere else. With over 11 million residents, Moscow is one of the world's most populous cities. But this hasn't changed the city's rich cultural and social traditions. It's difficult to determine what century you're in if you walk the cobblestone walkways of Red Square or the banks of the Moskva River early in the morning. Tsarist architecture, must-see churches, and opulent shopping choices combine for an unforgettable visual experience. We'll take a deeper look at some of the top spots to visit in Moscow in this video. Hopefully, we will be able to assist you in making the most of your visit to this beautiful city. Before we go any further, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any of our new videos. Let's get started without wasting any time. Number 1. The Kremlin The Kremlin, a 15th-century fortified complex covering 275,000 square meters and ringed by walls built in 1400s, is without a doubt Moscow's most recognizable landmark. The Grand Kremlin Palace, which contains approximately 700 rooms, was originally the home of the Tsar family and is now the formal residence of the Russian Federation's president. Though most heads of state prefer to live somewhere else, many other structures are also part of the huge complex, some of which are open to the public and can be visited on a regular basis. Apart from three cathedrals, one of which was historically used to crown Tsars and a number of towers, the Kremlin also houses the Armory Building, a museum that houses everything from the Royal Crown and Imperial vehicles to Ivan the Terrible's Ivory Throne and Faber Jacks. 2. Bolshoi Theater When visiting Moscow, you must pay a visit to the Bolshoi Theater if you enjoy music, art, or culture. It's still one of the most romantic and exciting venues to spend an evening 150 years after it first opened. Throughout the year, the Russian Ballet and Opera perform in the 6th Tier Theater. If you really want to watch a performance at the Bolshoi, last-minute tickets are extremely difficult to come by. So, if this is in your Moscow agenda, make a reservation as soon as you know your travel dates. The simplest and most obvious step is to attend a performance. It's hard to ignore a jam-packed events calendar, including world-class and experimental performances of Russian and foreign classics. The only drawback is that performances can be costly and sell out rapidly. Don't panic if one is out of your price range or, more likely, fully booked. A guided tour of the theater, lasting over an hour, is available. As a result, you won't miss out on witnessing one of Moscow's most famous monuments. 3. Gum Gum is a must-see in Moscow, even if you don't enjoy shopping. If you're looking for some shopping therapy on your trip to Moscow, this should be your first stop. It's just across the street from the famed Red Square. The store was constructed in the 1890s, and the architecture is breathtaking. Since then, it's been added, and the glass-roofed arcade is a beautiful spot to walk around. Gum also includes a variety of eateries, which are ideal if you've worked up an appetite going around Red Square and the Kremlin. Since this is Russia's most prestigious department store, the obvious response is to shop. Gum is home to boutiques such as Cartier and Dior. If your budget doesn't allow for it, there are other budget-friendly solutions, such as Zara. If you've neglected to carry something essential, Gum is not only a retail mall, but it also has a number of restaurants and cafes. There's also a movie, so you should be able to keep the kids entertained for a couple of hours. 4. Lenin's Mausoleum The Mausoleum of Vladimir Lenin, the Soviet leader's ultimate burial place, is located in the heart of Red Square. Since his death in 1924, his remains has been in the mausoleum, and while the original idea was for him to be buried after a brief period of public display for sorrow, that plan was immediately revised. After nearly 100,000 people visited the tomb over the course of six weeks, it was deemed that a new sarcophagus and a more permanent exhibition area would allow Lenin's body to be preserved for far longer than planned, and Lenin's mausoleum was created. Over time, the mausoleum and its marble stairs became the primary vantage point from which Soviet authorities observed parades and events in Red Square. Lenin's imam body is still on display today, resting in a bulletproof glass sarcophagus. While a visit to the mausoleum is unique, it has become a must-do for history enthusiasts interested in learning more about how Lenin's legacy transformed the country. However, be prepared to wait there are usually queues to get in. 5. Red Square Red Square is home to some of Moscow's most well-known landmarks. The ancient Market Square is now home to St. Basil's Cathedral, Lenin's Mausoleum, and the Kremlin. 
The Cobblestone Square is undoubtedly Moscow's most popular tourist attraction and has witnessed many historical Russian events. Public executions, protests, and parades are all examples of historical occurrences. Even an intercontinental ballistic missile has passed through the square. It wasn't armed at the time, which was fortunate. So, where do we begin? First and foremost, take a stroll around the square. Taking photos and admiring the lovely architecture that surrounds it will undoubtedly take up a significant amount of time here. Then there's the decision of what to do first. Red Square is a great place to spend an entire day. Do you visit St. Basil's Cathedral, the most prominent Russian Orthodox Church? You might also visit the Kremlin, one of Moscow's most important political and historical sites. Other landmarks in Moscow worth visiting during your Red Square day include Lenin's Mausoleum and the State History Museum. The region also has some of Moscow's greatest hostels, so you can make it your home base for a while. 6. Moscow Metro One of the oldest and most popular metro systems in the world. Its stations are historically significant because their construction was exceedingly ornate and was designed to promote communist superiority. The metro's construction began in the 1930s and it first opened in 1935. The metro was built with the intention of instilling in the populace a belief in Stalin's rule. The metro stations were constructed with such care and attention to detail that the Moscow metro system is now considered one of the most ambitious architectural projects ever undertaken. The first 13 metro stations, in particular, became famous around the world and served as the ultimate tool for persuading Moscow residents to support the communist dictatorship. As they rode the metro every day, the future and grandeur of the Stalinist era were offered to them. The metro's first four stages, completed in 1953, are the most attractive. From so on, the brilliant beauty that entered the station significantly decreased. 7. Tretiakov Gallery, an art gallery that began as a merchant's personal collection and now houses over 130,000 works of art from throughout Russia's history. When Moscow merchant Pavel Mikhailovich Tretiakov's massive personal collection of over 2,000 paintings was permanently put on display for the Russian public in 1893, the gallery was established. Originally housed in a tiny structure immediately south of the Kremlin, the gallery increased significantly in size as it accumulated more and more art over the 20th century. The State Tretiakov Gallery offers a unique perspective on Russian art history that can't be found in a place else. It immerses you with works of art by painters from the 10th century onwards, works that might otherwise go unnoticed or unappreciated. The gallery is a significant contribution to our understanding of the sources of inspiration for notable Russian artists of the 20th century. Its massive collection of 130,000 things is spread up over 62 rooms, making for a really instructive experience. 8. Arbat Street The one-kilometer-long pedestrian street in Moscow dates back to the 15th century. Originally a trading route on the outside of town, Arbat Street is today a bustling commercial district with posh buildings and a plethora of restaurants and shops. Beautiful street lamps and two notable statues, one of Princess Torandot, from Puccini's last opera, and the other of Soviet-era poet Bulat Okajava, adorn the boulevard, which is bustling with locals and tourists on weekends. Arbat Street is a nice spot to pick up souvenirs or sit at an outside cafe. And it also gives you the opportunity to see the former residence of poet Alexander Pushkin, as well as the cafe where Anton Chekhov and Leo Tal's toy used to meet. 9. Gorky Park This 300-acre park is the ideal place to escape the hustle and bustle of daily life and enjoy some well-deserved relaxation. Gorky Park is a favorite among locals and tourists alike. It's one of the best venues in Moscow for a variety of activities. Russian retirees are battling it out over chess. Cats are sunning themselves on the wide, open green meadows, and families are enjoying a day out together. It's tough not to fall in love with the gorgeous atmosphere. Gorky Park is a terrific site to visit if you're looking for a last-minute Moscow vacation idea, regardless of the season. Are you planning a trip to Moscow in the winter? Take advantage of one of the city's largest ice rinks. Summer also provides you with a plethora of possibilities. Yoga and fitness courses, volleyball, and boat rentals are just a few of the entertaining options available. And strolling around the park isn't the only method to get around. Ride your bike, rollerblade, skateboard, or segue on the broad paths. Also, don't miss the open-air movie theater, which is the ideal spot for watching a movie beneath the stars. 
10. Novo da Vinci Convent The Novo da Vinci Convent is housed in a beautiful edifice, was originally a fortress, and is steeped in history. When in Moscow, pay a visit to this fascinating location. The monastery, which was founded in 1524, is home to four cathedrals, the most notable of which being Smolensk Cathedral, which features exquisite 16th-century murals. It's like stepping back in time as you go around the grounds. Many renowned Soviet leaders, including Boris Yeltsin and Nikita Khrushchev, are buried in the Novo da Vichy Cemetery. Russia is home to a plethora of magnificent religious structures. The Novo da Vichy Convent, however, is without a doubt one of the most beautiful. It's one of Moscow's most magnificent cloisters, located in the city's southwest corner, where the Moscow River bends to form a peninsula. It is a magnificent architectural monument and one of Moscow's most popular tourist destinations.